Hey patrons, thank you so much for all of the support. It is very much appreciated. And I am done. Okay, so I just got done reading the massively acclaimed classic, Blood Meridian by the great Cormac McCarthy. And I want to give you my unedited thoughts upon finishing this book, which was a few days back because I was on vacation and didn't do, want to do a review while I was there. So I am going to get flamed for this review. I know it. I'm expecting it. I don't care because I always give you my honest opinion on this channel. I love to love books. I wanted to love this one. But I hated literally everything about this book from the first page to the moment that I DNF'd it. Uh, now, would I have possibly enjoyed this if I did end up finishing it? Uh, short answer, no. Uh, long answer, no. This is horrible. This is so bad. This is probably the, the most unenjoyable reading experience that I've ever had in my life. Now, it's not the lowest score that I've ever given. I did give it a zero out of five stars to the first binding, but that's because not only did I, did I hate it, uh, but it was plagiarized. And I'm always going to give no, no score at all to a book that was just straight up plagiarized. But yeah, this is, this is bad. <laughs> this is, this is bad. And, and yeah, so now, I, I wanted to love this. I, I predicted that I'd give it five stars. And this is the only time that I've ever predicted a five and then ended up giving it a one. Now, this wasn't the only problem, but I did go into this book with the wrong expectations uh, based on what I ended up reading. Because, like, a while back, I ended up finishing Red Dead Redemption 2 for, like, the third time or so. And I thought, like, how amazing would it be if there was a novel with a similar vibe, you know, following this band of criminals that weren't all completely evil, but nonetheless running from the law. And, you know, I looked it up online from somebody that was lying to me, and I said, you know, what's a similar book out there to the storyline of Red Dead Redemption 2? And they're like, you gotta read Blood Meridian. And I'm like, great, I can't wait. Put it on my TBR. And I was just so excited to get to this. But in no way was that what Blood Meridian was. Blood Meridian is a book with zero character explanation. It, like, it simply follows the most unlikable character in the history of literature as he just goes around committing inexplicable violence against like pretty much everybody for what appears to me to be like basic shock value. But all with like this writing quality and this prose of like a truly great writer, it's this strange dynamic that I'll, I don't quite understand who this book appeals to because it feels like the story is written for like really edgy teens that are like, oh, I want violence. Give me all the violence. Uh, but it's in a writing style that would appeal to like a really pretentious literary teacher. So like, I don't think I'll ever enjoy a book where I am desperately hoping that the primary character dies the worst death possible, possible a la like the poppy war. But but here we are, because because I hated everybody in this book. And how could you possibly enjoy a book where you felt that way about the main character? And if you didn't feel that way, how is that possible? What does that say about you if you're like, oh, this character's cool. Oh, this is an interesting character. Oh, just mindless violence against people. That's fun. No, it's not fun at all. Now, am I going to get ripped for saying this? No doubt. Uh, but... Am I possibly too stupid to understand what's going on in this book? Again, probably no doubt. Um, that's, that's probably what it is. You know, when everybody's saying one thing and I feel like me and a handful of others are saying something else, I'm probably the one wrong. With that being said, this is my channel and my opinion. And I, I just, I don't understand it. Because, like, even if I did understand all of the subtext going on in here and, like, the literary genius part that went behind this book... I would still hate it. And and I didn't have any fun at any point. And I do kind of think that I did understand what was going on here. I, I mean, this is a world of like philosophical subversion of American expansionism. But this feels like an attempt that was failed. And like just because the attempt was made doesn't make it successful. It, it this was a failure. And it, it's not as if I, I just read mindless fantasy and like you're watching this like, oh, Matt, he's a fantasy reader. He reads this mindless stuff like my favorite fantasy series of all time is Malazan. And that's one of the most complicated fantasy stories of all time, one that you would need to read many times to really get an understanding of what really is going on. I've read it one time. I don't understand everything going on. I love it. 
I love it so much. Um, and it's a bleak story with not a lot of like these amazing moments that happen where you're like, oh, that feels great. You know, it's, it's, it's a darker book, um, but not, not like this, you know? So let me go into some more things that I hated about this reading experience uh, while I am, you know, on this tirade. So uh, I, I mentioned earlier that one of the things I hated here were the characters, but I didn't just hate them because they were inexplicably evil, which, which they are. They weren't doing anything interesting. You don't really know what they're thinking. You, they hardly talk to each other. And they kind of just feel like they are only there to like further the themes of this story, which is a weird thing for a story. I, I like I, I did kind of like kind of uh, like this character, the judge, um, although I did not love him, uh, but he at least had like something going on there. The other ones and he's not in the book a ton, um, but the other characters just like what's what's going on? What? why aren't you talking? Why aren't you explaining your thoughts a little more? It's like making the reader jump all, make all these, you know, logic jumps. They don't need to be there. Another thing that I hated about this was the violence. Now, I don't mind violence in my books. In fact, I quite like that normally. I'm a grim, dark fantasy guy. You know, it's, it's one of my favorite subgenres of fantasy. And that's, you know, that features a bleak world normally with a ton of violence. And... You know, I don't think I've ever been, like, disturbed by what I've read in any book to the point where it actually hurt the story. And and this didn't happen here either. It just felt, like, so over the top that it was actually, like, comical how bad the violence was. So I'm going to bring up a small spoiler here, and I'm going to raise my hand, um, and that indicates the spoilers will begin. And I'll put my hand down <laughs> when the spoilers finish, uh, because I, I got to tell you about this moment that happens uh, so you can get a sense of how ridiculous some moments are in the story. But it, at one point, there is an attack on an Indian settlement, and someone runs out of a tent holding two babies and just smashes their heads in on a rock. And it, it was ridiculous to the point that it almost made me laugh out loud at how bad this is. It, but it would, it's just shock value for the sake of being shock value. And that's silly. That's, that doesn't help the story at all. It's ridiculous. This book just honestly felt like it was written for academia to study. Like like a piece of artwork that only other artists would ever appreciate. It just like reeks of pretentiousness. Let me give you an example um, of a random quote from this book so you can so you can kind of get a sense of what I'm talking about. Okay, here it is. For this will to deceive that is in things luminous may manifest itself likewise, in retrospect, and so by slight of some fixed part of a journey already accomplished, may also post men to fraudulent destinies. Okay, so imagine 400 pages of that um, with, my, with like mindless violence like mixed in. That's the writing style here. What? What did I just read, first of all? Second of all, is that enjoyable to anybody? Did anybody read that and be like, oh, yeah, that's good stuff. I like that. No. This is horrible. This is like th thesaurusing a book. And like if Cormac McCarthy talks like that in real life, that's crazy. Um, and if he just is looking up words that look smarter than he is, that's crazy too. But at no point does this like make sense in a rational world. Now... A large majority of this book is about riding from point A to point B. Characters ride and ride and ride and ride and ride across the most barren landscape, landscapes possibly imagined, where these landscapes are explained in excruciating detail, excruciatingly boring detail. It's just desert looking. It sucks. And then they get somewhere and they commit violence. And they ride and ride and ride and ride again, murder an Indian tribe, ride some more, get really, 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 really tired, ride some more, kill some Indians, rinse, repeat. There's the book. I'm sure it's got some crazy good ending. I've heard from people that the ending's good. I've also heard from people that don't like this book that the ending is not going to save it. Now, it's, it's also got this really annoying thing going for it where you oftentimes can't figure out which character is talking. Now, this has to be by design. But it's almost like McCarthy is clearly too high-minded to insert the phrase, like, said this character, or that character said. 
the narrator the narrator is just like constantly switching between which character is like talking and what head they're in and like it's like we're supposed to it's like a choose your own adventure like you're supposed to figure out for yourself who's talking which is ridiculous for like the sake of being ridiculous at the end of the day i i side on the fact that i read to have fun and that's by far the most important criteria for me when i go into a story and i didn't have any fun so i hated this if you love this book which you probably do if you've read it because it feels like everybody loves this book awesome i'm really happy for you i love it when people find books that they enjoy this ain't it for me i hated it it's gonna go down as one of the worst books that i read this year and for all of you uh, that I have just dissed in academia, I am very sorry. There's nothing against you. You probably have a great job. Um, but the pretension that goes into this book, it just, it can't be undersaid how much is in this book. So I am sorry to all of you. I'm sorry to all of you that love this book and you feel like I was really unfair. <sighs> what can I say? It's who I am sometimes. So. I'm finishing off there. Thank you so much for watching this rant and happy reading to you. I want to give another shout out to all of my patrons. This is a special shout out to my Ascendant tier and Librarian tier patrons. Anna G, Brian, CJ, Darren, Jonathan, My Book is Lit, Miranda's Bookshelf, Nathan T, Nev's Book Channel, Ron Reich, Russell, Ryan L, Tahir, Anna, Andra, Angelo, Ben, Blair, Brock, Evan, Harry B, Jamie, Joe, Maria, Michael Sugarman, Sky, TW57, Wacky, and Zion.